Hello everyone! Welcome back to another devlog for Asaria, the game I'm building together with you guys. Today I'm super excited to talk about something really cool we've added, the compass bar. You know, like the one you see in games like Fortnite or PUBG or other RPG styled games. Not only is this compass bar rotating when the main camera is rotated, but also there are targets on the compass bar. Let's not waste any time and dive right into it. So what's a compass bar? Well, it's this handy little thing at the top of your screen that tells you which way you're facing. It's like having your own personal guide to help you navigate through the game world. This can be super helpful in my game when it comes down to quests. As you might have noticed in one of my last videos, the characters and NPCs are all looking pretty much the same. Of course, here and there are slight differences in the texture, but in general they're all quite similar. Of course, they all have different names and most important, individual, super special personalities, but it's hard for the player to notice that. So it would be pretty a good idea to guide the player through the world and help him with a target where he must go to achieve his goals. Now let's talk about how I implemented this in this area. It's actually pretty simple. First I added a little label to get the Y rotation to see in which direction the player is looking. I handled this with a quaternion.look rotation in which I subtracted the player position from the camera position. So I already got some value which I used to further work with. Then I added a raw image component with a sprite of a compass bar I found online. I downloaded it from the polygon pilgrimage. Shout out and thanks for this epic sprite, I really 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 love it. Then I wrote some code that constantly checks the player's orientation and updates the compass bar accordingly. So if you're facing north, the marker on the compass bar will point north. If you turn to east, it will move to east. Uh, you get the idea. And all this magic happens within one line of code. I used the value I calculated before and divided by 360. Then I used the result of this calculation as a new x value for my UV rectangle and set the missing y with anti values appropriately. And that's it. This makes our compass bar working already. Pretty nice, isn't it? Actually, all the magic besides the code comes from the fantastic sprite, so thank you again. But now I want to get a step further. I want to also add a little functionality so that I can add some targets to my compass bar. To keep it all organized, I created a new manager called Compass Manager and cleaned up the work before a little bit. So, to get this working, I added a function in my Compass Manager, which allows us to add some targets to a list. The added target must be a game object, and then a new UI object gets created. Furthermore, an image component is getting added to the UI object. Now the game object and the UI object are getting saved in a dictionary as a key value pair. It might not be the best idea to save it that way, but for some experimentals it's totally okay I think. Also, everything is getting added within the script. I think if this is the way I want to go, I will also create some prefabs for this. To keep this as customizable as possible, there is a scriptable object which can keep information about the compass target. It keeps track of the target type, in this test case it is just a quest type, and also it keeps track of the sprite and the color of the sprite of the compass target. With this information we can add a bunch of cool icons to the compass bar with a different meaning. And now we check every update if the direction changes. If so, then the new direction gets calculated and the position of the UI object gets adjusted. And with this setup I have a nice little compass bar which can handle quite a bit of information I want the user to get from it. Of course I could add some more info like loot on the ground, where the big city Assaria is, or the animals and so on and so forth. And there you have it, our own compass bar in Assaria. That might seem like a small detail, but trust me, it makes a big difference when you're exploring the game world. I can't wait for you all to try it out. If you liked the video then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you do not want to miss any updates about my game Assaria. Thanks for watching, we see us in the next video, bye!